here's a tree I'm looking at. I, not what I was expecting to be collecting out today, but um, you know, that's how it is when you're collecting. You gotta kinda take what you see. What I really liked about this one was, you know, it has a nice, nice movement of the trunk, uh, but it's the bark. The bark is just really old looking for the size of the tree. It's not extremely healthy. It's got a little bit of back buds here. Not sure about, not sure if I'll take it. But again, you can see this, this nice movement. It's really thick here. Something's happened here, so you get this thick. You might have a little bit of reverse taper there, but besides that, it comes up pretty good. So, I don't know, we'll see. This might be one that I take. This is a really nice piece that I was drawn to. It's, it's like a cypress of some sort. Part of that family, at least. And it has this beautiful dead, dead wood piece coming up here, all along here branches coming out there and some branches here uh, really loose in the dirt so it's not really grounded and nice age age on the bark here um, and you can see this this mass of beautiful curve that comes out of that trunk and this curves up nice dead wood here uh, but I can't take this tree it's got some sort of disease growing all over it um, so this this would just be a potential hazard to bring into the into the garden Bob, but this is something that I would try to collect if it wasn't diseased so this is a this is a really unique one here. I uh, not again. It's not it's not what I'm looking for exactly, but it just happened to be really nice. And I saw this really big damn space in this gnarl. I love that feature. And it's almost like you got two or three trees growing up on top of this. Um, and it surprisingly feels loose in here. So I'm going to give it a little dig around. Uh, and we'll see if that's a potential. Here it is brought home. So I've really broken out of the mold now, which is great out of the bonsai mold, the traditional Japanese mold. And I've really allowed myself to think about different different things in a tree. So, you know, one of the things you notice about this tree is that there's a huge uh, reverse taper that happens. So it's quite a bit thinner down here. Um, as you go up, it bulks right up. So very, very unconventional. Uh, but what I loved about this tree is all this dead wood, this gnarly dead wood coming out. Um, and then you have these two trees almost growing up, growing up right off the top. So it's almost like it's a, you know, a new root base up there, even though it's not, it's all connected as one tree. Um, so, you know, I haven't touched the tree at all. I've carved it out just a little bit in these spots so you can kind of see and to help me with the design. Uh, but I didn't want to carve too much because it's um, just freshly planted and it kind of shakes and jiggles the tree and if the roots are setting that's just not helpful. Now I'll give it a little bit of a spin. I wasn't sure you know what the best front is. I still haven't decided. It'll take me a while. See lots of nice dead wood coming out. Really funky, really funky deadwood piece here. I love the curve on that, the angle. You know, and this, this piece, uh, it looked, I thought it was originally thought it was all dead, but there's actually a branch here that comes out that's alive. Uh, but really nice deadwood, you know, features everywhere. So I think I really want to just highlight, um, you know, I like this. This is the base. Or as the front, I mean, um, and then highlight these two trees coming out. I'll have to bring the trees down and make them smaller, but as though they're growing out of a clump. And maybe I can wrap some of these other branches around to kind of, you know, give it some structure down below. Almost like there's a lower tree canopy, and then these two trees pop out the top, and then really focus on, on all of this, this nice, nice dead wood in here. Another really interesting feature about this one, and you may or may not be able to see, is I think it's a beaver that actually um, that actually took that off. It doesn't look like clean cuts, but you can see it's been it's been cut here, some sort. And they're not clean, so they they kind of ridge. So it's a beaver taking. I think it's a beaver ch chewing on that. So. Uh, some sort of animal so I um I'll probably keep that in some way you know try to highlight that a bit it gives it gives it that extra extra flavor